The first aspect around power dynamics that I want to talk to is that multiple times in this article, when they speak about the factors that you need to take into account when deciding whether to be a for-profit or a non-profit, they use these examples about one of the benefits they see with non-profits being that you can get highly capable, skilled employees, but pay them below market salaries. That argument makes me really angry for multiple reasons. The first, if we look at it from one aspect of of a power dynamic, is that that type of thinking demonstrates that you put doing good, the charitable sector, non-profits, in a category that is not worthy of paying properly for. And that is offensive. It speaks deeply to the fact that in gendered and entrenched aspects of your thinking sit within an approach to the world where gender, racial aspects and any other type of othering people, we are, sorry, it makes me really cross, subjugating, we are putting in these positions and devaluing the work that people are doing. The only people that serves are those in positions of privilege, authority and power. And the reason why this is incredibly offensive to bring this argument into the realm of advising people who are trying to run an organisation and have an impact in the world, and when you use that argument to say that you should choose a non-profit legal structure so that you can underpay people and not value their work is just outrageous. When we think about the fact that this unseen, unrecognised, devalued work of caring, cleaning, looking after, all of those types of tasks that are typically, as I said, gendered and framed in ways where certain racial groups or others do that work what it does when that is unpaid and not seen is it allows those in positions of privilege and power to continue to advance unhindered by either having to do those tasks they don't want to do but even worse than that not only do they not have to do it we don't even make them pay for it and that is wrong so That aspect of this article is just fundamentally flawed and incredibly offensive. We should not be setting up and continuing to trap the charitable sector, the non-profit sector, anyone in that purpose-driven space. We have to stop trapping them because of our own unresolved issues about money and then pushing them into a position that is unsustainable and damaging for their well-being and their families and their financial security. That has to stop. That, I have just seen that over and over again and it really upsets and disturbs me when in the name of attempting to advise people well, we use that argument. Stop it. Do not use that argument. It is wrong and it is, as I said before, it is abusive and entrenching unhealthy power dynamics. Power dynamics, that's my first argument that I have a major problem with this article.